Oh, yeah, I still need to get rid of the... The, uh, the mist stuff, which is the dragon. Dragon bone. Dragon scales. I've definitely got enough for that. Right, get out of here. Sell this stuff. We're earning a fair bit of money now. Too good. Oh. What do you have to sell? Which means, what can you buy from me? Uh, glass bow. Glass sword. Um, and that's about that, I think. I don't think you restocked. No, you haven't. So... Dear Hyde, I need to turn that Don't forget to check inside. into leather. Misc leather. And then turn this into leather hides. I mean, leather strips. And we're done. Back to Astrid. And tell her that Cicero is dead, even though he's not. That brotherhood. Done. I wonder what the hell that was. I thought it was a shield. Mortal's upper represents Sifis as a skeletal being to signify his relationship to death. In, tooth, the, in truth, the Dreadlord is formless and infinite as the Void. I have no idea where Steve is, because technically Shadowmere is now mine, and he's my horse. But, I will call you... What will I call you? I don't know. I'll call you Bowie. Let's go with that. I'll call you Bowie. I ain't gonna call you Shadowmere, I'll call you Bowie. So from now on, Bowie is Shadowmere. Beautiful, isn't it? God, I've been, I've been playing for two hours already. Huh. Well, I've only got this last part to go then. So that's that's flew by really quick. Onbjorn is safe, and for that you have my thanks. But what of the fool? Is Cicero dead? Yep. Yeah. Excellent. Once again, you've proven yourself a born assassin. Tell you what, why don't you hold on to Shadowmere a while longer? He's a fine steed, and hasn't been ridden nearly as much as he should lately. And now that this Cicero mess has been mopped up, we can get back to the matter at hand. Mm -hmm. Of course. There's just one more target before we strike out at the Emperor. Have you by chance heard of the Gourmet? Read his cookbook? It's become quite a phenomenon. The Gourmet is scheduled to cook for the Emperor at a special dinner. You'll kill him, steal his writ of passage, and assume the role of Master Chef. I see. Festus has been spearheading this part of the assassination plan. He's close to uncovering the identity of the Gourmet. You should report to him. Alright, time to go to Festus. Which is Ulfred number Watch two. Yourself. I think so. I think his name's Festus Crex. Yeah, this guy's healed. Don't take offense to the nicknames, Morsel. I'm a werewolf. Hard not to think of you as a snack. Small world. <laughs> How you doing? You could like not sit in blood, but tidings. Let's talk more about Vizira, because I like this guy. Once I was a shadow scale, an assassin in service to the king of Black Marsh. Trained by the Dark Brotherhood since the day of my hatching. Ah, but that was a lifetime ago. Today, I am the last of my kind. My order is extinct. Now, I happily serve Astrid in this sanctuary. I am a trained killer, and once again have been given purpose. Life is good. Good, good. Kill well and often. Now, Festus should be here. Dealing with Cicero, eh? Now let's get down to business. Astrid told you about the Corbet, I hope. No, she didn't. Well, whatever. Quite so. But first, you'll need to learn who he is. Assuming, of course, that the Corbet actually is a he. Could be a woman, for all we know. True. This guy reminds me a lot from, like, uh, Pete in, uh, Disney. No, Pete. So you don't know who the gourmet is. Wonderful. Don't be so petulant. <laughs> in my uh, investigations, I came upon this. It's a copy of the gourmet's cookbook, uh, but not just any copy. It's signed, you see. 
Huh. Seems to be a message from the gourmet to one Anton Varan. I've tracked Varan to the keep at Markov. It would seem he's the cook. And this Anton Varan knows the gourmet's true identity. Oh what? Yeah. I'm wait. Oh, I'm waiting with battered breath. God damn it! Of course, Festus. 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 <laughs> Festus. Please continue. Huh? As I was saying, you'll need to kill the gourmet, of course. But what's more, you need to get his bit of passive so you can take his place. Of course. And if you can, hide his body. The longer it takes for anyone else to determine his real identity, the better. Uh huh. All right, let's go. Remember, the Markov Keep. That's where we find Anton Varan. Probably cooking up all of the gourmet's recipes, passing them off as his own. Probably. It's been quite a boon, looking like a child. No one ever suspects a thing. My targets make the mistake of not perceiving me as a threat. What if you have a sale? Ah, so you're an alchemist then? Nope. What the f would I be an alchemist? I don't care about your stuff to do with making people die. I care about the healing, which isn't a lot. But I can sell you shit, so that's great. So, nope, 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 yep, nope, nope, uh, nope, nope, yep, nope, 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 yes. Yes. Nope. 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 Yeah, I could get rid of that, but I'll just keep it. Kill well and often. Oh wait, I forgot to ask you. I can brew some potions for you. What can you tell me about yourself? I'm just a little girl. The Dark Brotherhood killed my mama and papa, and then they took me captive. Please, please help me. Don't give me that crap. Rather convincing, don't you think? No. In truth. I'm no more a little girl than you are. All right. Was once, of course, 300 years ago. Vampirism tends to keep one remarkably fresh. Ha uh ha. -huh. Until next time, brother. I wonder if they can really get a kid to do that, or some woman who actually does sound young, because you know, because saying shit like you know, kill me, and all their crap. I don't know why I changed my voice for that, but it seems a bit morbid for a child to be saying that. But whatever. Probably put on. You see, it's 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 one of the things. Like when the, you have voices in the games, you kind of well, at least I do because it's what I pay attention to, right? But um, it's it, you either kind of think is it put on or isn't it? I mean, most of them are right, but some people do you use the normal voice for this. Wait, I'm going into Markov, aren't I? Yep. Which should be God. I got that wind. All right, up there. Done. And the door has been shot again. Give me a second. God damn it! Done. Alright. Back to this. Alright, so what's happening now? Who the hell are you? No, it's just random people. Alright, into the keep. Oh man! All right, we will uh, we'll uh, we'll talk to this guy, and then I'll I'll, I'll finish it up there because I just looked at the time, and yeah, I should be finishing like right, right now. All right, let's go quickly talk to this guy. All right. So. Is it like a barber's look-alike? Poor dog. Shut this door. You spilled laundry water in the soup pot again. Do I need to cut off your fingers to teach you a lesson? You touch her and I swear it'll be your fingers that go missing, you stupid Breton. What was that? 
Now, now, brother. Arnois just being his usual gloomy self. He didn't mean it, did you, Arnois? You're just being silly again. Whatever. Just get back to work. Now. All right, let me talk to you. Yes, yes, for the hundredth time. I am a Breton. I was born in High Rock, and then I came here. I am not a rich man. I don't really care. I'm of exquisite Breton cuisine. Uh, cuisine. Who are you? What do you want? The, the gourmet? Never. I don't know what led you here, but nothing will betray my trust. I'll take the secret of the gourmet's identity to my grave. Uh huh. The Dark Brotherhood? Now, now, wait a minute. Let's not get hasty. I mean, surely my friend wouldn't want me to endanger my own life, right? Look, his name is Balagor Gronolo. He's an orc. The gourmet's an orc. He's staying at the Night Gate Inn. That's all I know. God, this guy's useless. Now, now you'll let me go, right? Sure. Okay, all right. Wonderful. You're welcome. I'll just be on my way then. Yep, you'll be on your way. And I'll be on my way. Filthy natives. Get to work. We have meals to prepare and no time to prepare them. Stop looking at me. Right away. Uh, the gods, no. Take that, scumbag. Oh, wait. Take that and I'll take this. These people don't give a fuck. Yes? Yep, okay. Other than this naked seizure guy who's somehow trapped under a chair. And uh, and you. It's been a hard day cleaning. Good honest work, I say. No one gives a fuck that this dude naked guy is dead and having a seizure. And he's somehow trapped in a chair. Whatever. What the You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? Who the hell saw me? Alright. I'll pay off the bounty. Smart man. Now come along with us. Okay. Pay the bounties forty gold, or I can like say, Hey, I'm with the Thieves Guild. Lay off, bitch. And that costs me like more than like just around roughly ten times the gold, but I can just leave. Uh, so there's no point. Me saying that. What is it? Dragons? Anyway. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna leave you right now because I hate you. Um, not really. But, um, I've gotta, uh, well, I gotta go ahead and render these sub parts out. So that is that for that this part. And uh, I will catch you in the next set of episodes. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll catch you later. Have a great day, and thank you for watching.